I'm gonna say a quick thing. You ready? You rolling? I'm gonna say something. Hey guys, Lawrence here. We're at the Peak Design flagship store in San Francisco, and today we're gonna to be talking about Capture V3. All right, let's talk about what's in the box. So when you get your new Capture camera clip, this is what's in the box. You've got a brand new clip, two thumb screws, a standard plate, two hex head bolts, an Allen wrench, and a microfiber pouch to keep it all in. So if you get the clip only, it comes with everything except the plate. Our new standard plates are available separately to purchase, as well as the new dual plate, POV kit, bino kit, and lens kit. We'll talk about those in a minute. All right, now let's install this thing. Step one is to install the plate on the bottom of your camera. Something you'll notice about our new plates is that there's a channel for the screw to move along. This means that you can perfect the position of the plate on the bottom of your camera. It also accommodates if you've got a flip-up screen on the back. Like the old standard plate, the new standard plate is compatible with all Arca-style tripod heads. Like our old plates, the new standard plate has four anchor attachment points. Now, when you're attaching anchors to your standard plate, you want to think about which side goes into your capture and then install your anchors on the opposite side. That way they don't get jammed up when you're trying to go in and out of your capture. The standard plate has four-way entry into the clip. There's no front or back. Now let's install the clip. We'll start with the belt. All right, so we'll start by loosening the bolts on the clip. I like to loosen them both pretty far out. I'm gonna install mine on the right side. Tuck the back chassis behind the belt. And rotate the front face down and then tighten the bolts at the same time. All right, so I've got capture on my belt with the button facing down. Uh, you'll notice I have the whole clip essentially resting on this top bolt, and that minimizes play. Now you can just slide your camera into the clip. By keeping the button facing down, I'm able to grab the camera and release with one hand. Makes getting into shooting position super easy. We've seen people wear the clip on all parts of the belt facing in all sorts of directions. There's a lot of personal preference involved, but we like this way a lot. With capture on your belt, it's actually a super stable lens changing platform. You load the camera body in vertically and then you swap out your lens. Now let's do backpack installation. All right, I'm gonna take the sternum strap off just to make installation easier. On the backpack, you can use the thumb screws or the hex head screws. The hex head screws are more of a permanent or semi-permanent attachment, and they're a little bit longer to accommodate more backpack straps. Take the thumb screws all the way out of your capture. And put your hex head screws in. I wouldn't put the screws in all the way. We can tighten them once they're on the strap. I'm going to install on the left side. You slide the back of the chassis behind the strap, rotate the top around, and then start to tighten. Something you'll notice when you're using this Allen wrench is that you could actually tighten almost forever. It's not the same as with the thumb screws when you feel it get tougher. What you want to do once you've got it pretty tight is check that it's on there securely. That way you're not pushing all the way into your backpack strap. You'll notice that the hex head screws have a smaller head on them. It's even lower profile and stays out of the way of my arm. Now I'm going to reinstall my sternum strap. Totally optional. Now I can get the camera and detach it from the clip with the same hand with a little bit of practice. I like to use my thumb to press the button while I've got the grip with the rest of my hand. When you're first getting started, I think it's best to use two hands when taking the camera out. I like to grab the barrel of the lens, use my thumb, press the button, and grab the grip. People sometimes ask what to do with a thicker strap. What we do is we pinch the foam and squeeze the clip on. Sometimes people find that with a thicker strap, it's best to remove both parts of the chassis with the screws completely out and then sandwich them onto the strap. When you hear the click, the camera is secure. It's not going anywhere. 
But if you're what my dad calls one of those belt and suspenders types, you should use the safety lock. If you're having trouble getting the camera in or out of your capture clip, make sure that the safety lock is in the open position. You might notice a little bit of play between the camera and the clip. This is designed. Without that play, it'd be impossible to get your camera in or out. But this thing is not going anywhere. Pro tip, let's say you're like me and you're using a little prime lens a lot. Something I'll do is mount the camera vertically into my clip. This keeps the weight pointed down and keeps the camera from flopping too much. All of our bags have a capture mounting point. Here, 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 here. Our newest version of capture is precision machined out of aluminum. I've lined up versions one, two, and three, so you can get a closer look at just how much we've improved the design. Version three is smaller, lighter, and more secure. Another feature you'll notice we got rid of is the twist lock. We really wanted to streamline the design of the new clip. We wanted it to be something that could stay on your belt or on your bag for hours or days at a time. Uh, and we found that safety-wise, the button lock, which we've improved, is still the best way to get that confidence that the gear and the camera is not gonna go anywhere. The button safety lock is even stronger than it was on version two. When the safety lock is open, the hash marks will align. Twist clockwise to lock and counterclockwise to unlock. Also new on this version of Capture is the rubberized backplate. This keeps the clip more secure and reduces scuffing on your strap or belt. You also notice our new standard plate is slimmer. We just wanted to keep the whole assembly as low profile as possible. Capture is also available in two colors, black and silver. All right, let's talk about some accessories. If you're a Manfrotto tripod user, this is the plate you want. Our dual plate is compatible with both Archetype and Manfrotto RC2 type tripod heads. It is of course capture compatible as well. Now the dual plate only has two way entry into your capture clip and that's to accommodate all that Manfrotto geometry. Keep in mind the standard plate enters into the clip in four directions. What am I doing with my hands? All right, when you install, make sure your little teeth face forward. So I don't get side entry because of the dual plate's geometry. If you're going to be using a dual plate and you like belt carry, you'll need a pro pad. And we'll talk about that in just a second. We also make three separate accessory kits to expand your carrying possibilities. We've got the Bino kit for binoculars, the lens kit for Nikon, Canon, and Sony lenses, and the POV kit for action style cameras like GoPros or point and shoot cameras. Because we took that twist lock out of Capture version three, the POV kit is not yet optimized for that clip. What we're working on right now is a new base plate that you'll be able to get from us at the website that'll keep the plate securely in your capture if you're trying to get a super rigid point of view shot on your GoPro. If you sign up for our newsletter at peakdesign.com, you'll be the first to know when that piece is ready for your POV kit. Something else to keep in mind is that these kits don't come with a clip, so be sure to purchase one if you need it. If you don't need a camera plate and just need the clip, that's available for purchase. All right, let's talk plate compatibility. Now, because I'm the graphic designer, I'm just gonna make a chart and you can look at it. So what you'll see is that the new version of Capture is completely compatible with every plate we've made except the very first dual plate and currently is not perfect for the POV kit. And we'll tell you about that in just a second. If you've got a version two Capture and wanna get some new stuff, it works with everything except that new slimmer standard plate. When we cut down on that height, it makes it incompatible with older clips. The new dual plate is compatible with all three versions of Capture. So if you have different versions of Capture, our new dual plate will work for all of them. Now let's talk about the Pro Pad. The Pro Pad is an accessory for your Capture Clip. It's a rigid stabilizer pad that helps you to keep your camera carry even more stable or to help you if you've got a bigger camera rig. It works on both your belt and on a backpack strap. All right, let's install this thing. Belt first. First thing I do is open up my clip and set it aside. Then I take the pro pad and insert it behind my belt
You want the crease of the Pro Pad to be resting right above the top of the belt. Then I open the clip and put it behind the loop of the Pro Pad. Don't worry if it's super tight when you do that. That's how it's supposed to be. Now, close the Pro Pad down and close the clip on itself. Pull the clip up towards your belt and tighten it. All right, so now you've got your clip on your Pro Pad on your belt. The Pro Pad's gonna distribute that weight across the belt and move the weight kind of off and down. So the whole thing becomes much more comfortable and stable. Works great with my full frame and a good size lens. But what about a bigger camera, you ask? Okay. Here's a full frame with a battery grip and a 70 to 200. No problem. If you imagine a capture clip installed on your belt up and down, it's a very limited amount of space that's taking the whole weight of the camera. The Pro Pad spreads that weight out and makes this an option for your biggest setups. You might also notice that we got rid of the vertical mounting holes. Through user research and testing, we found out that a horizontal mount is the best way to carry a camera when you're using a Pro Pad. Pro Pad also works on backpacks. First, you put on a backpack. Okay, so open your clip and your Pro Pad. And keeping that bolt low, slide it behind the loop. Now loosen the bolts. Then place your open capture and Pro Pad behind your strap. And then you close and tighten the clip. If you think you might have this installed for a while on your bag, it'd be worth it to put on the hex head bolts. They're a little bit longer and will be a lower profile to stay out of your way. If you got a sternum strap, this would be a good time to put it back on. With the Pro Pad on my backpack strap, you get a little more padding and support for when you're carrying those enormous cameras. I can feel the weight of the camera moving through the back of the pad and distributing across my chest. ProPad's super useful if you're gonna be carrying a camera on your backpack strap for a long extended period of time. The ProPad takes our capture camera clip and it optimizes it for pro photographers. The third version of the capture camera clip takes everything that we've learned over these years and distills it into one incredible product. We still think it's the best way to carry a camera. As always, if you've got any questions, reach out to our customer service team and happy shooting. That's that, that's pretty sweet. Now you can just slide your camera into the clip. <laughs> I got slippy pants. So you'll notice that right now I'm wearing it on my right side with the button facing down. This is sort of a preference amongst us at the office. You can wear it however you want. <laughs> you, can, you can fucking wear it however you want. Man, I don't care. Oh! Well, I don't want to get in the way of a good film. Say hi to everyone, though. You're right next to the mic. Oh, hey, everybody. All right. It's me. It's Adam. I hope the film comes out good. <laughs>